Hello and welcome back. We've got the final nine holes of the 2018 Las Vegas Challenge from the Wild Horse Golf Club. Big Sexy Commentary here with you, Nate Sexton and Jeremy Colling. Thanks for joining us, everyone. We have an exciting final nine to go here. The story of the tournament so far has to be the Colorado boys just putting on the display here that's so impressive. I mean, Eagles got 10 strokes on Paul McBeth and on the league card playing phenomenal golf. Joel Freeman surprising the world out here, maintaining composure, putting together an incredible event. Be really exciting to see what happens here in the last final nine holes. Yeah, hole 10 is a long par four, 783 feet. OB on the right and the left, and then you've got the golf green and then a bunker behind the basket. This hole is actually the site of what I believe ended up winning Ulti World's Roller of the Year Oh yeah, for Eagle, but they moved the tee and they took the roller away. Yeah, the tee is just about 20 to 30 feet back, which brings that tree into play. But Eagle last year, I was on his card, threw a roller 100 feet past the basket. Unbelievable. Doesn't even really make sense. And Joel, a little bit too much flip here. You have quite a bit of space off to the right, though. Um, that car path continues to break off to the right, so he's going to be safe. Maybe didn't get the distance he'd like. Simon, I think he's going to be getting some distance. Yeah. Oh, eh, yes. Yeah, that was at least 450. Yeah. But yep. I was expecting closer to 556, maybe. This is more like it, perhaps. Uh, yeah, it's drifting. Not Maybe not as much turnover as you would like, but it's a big shot. Yeah, I felt like the wind was doing some interesting things off the tee. We felt like it was maybe a bit of headwind. We get down to where Paul's disc is there, and all of a sudden, it's a tail right to left. So it just completely switches somewhere in the middle of this fairway. Yeah. Joel going big forehand. Just needs to have enough energy to get off this green. Oh, that just... Took a horrible first skip. He hit the dead center of it. So he's going to take a bogey at best. Yeah. And this, the, the bunker behind the basket here isn't a, like a traditional bunker. It's just a sandy area, but it is out of bounds. It's and hazard as well. Right? It's hazard, yeah, right. So you play where it lies. Right. Thank you for the correction. Yeah, if it's hazard, so you will be playing from where it goes. If you go OB. That's got to be in there. Wow. Oh, the, wow. Who the, came out and kicked that? Yeah, that, that would have gone OB for every single one else. How did that turn around and slow down? That looked I, like it was flying. Yeah, so this is going to go in the hazard area. So, and it's just so, if you get over the hillside, just like so many of the other holes out here, if you go over this hill, there's danger on the backside of it. Yes. And um, sometimes it's not OB directly, but you have a long way down. Oh, and Paul from the hazard area chains it out. And look at that. Just oh, starting another off. Another birdie. Oh, man, he is eight down through ten holes. Missed two holes so far with an eagle putt. Yeah. And the, one of his pars was a missed 20-footer. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's just... He's on fire. He's a surgeon right now. Yeah. A couple of bogeys, Paul and Joel as well. There's some attackable, tough holes on this back nine, but there's there's just not enough for Macbeth. And not really enough for Simon. The only person that's Joel, really in any danger yeah. is Joel. Not danger, but he's, he's in a, Right. He has some opportunity, perhaps. Correct. 369 foot 11th par three, going a little bit downhill, kind of going through a gap, but you, I bet we'll see some big backhand hyzers all the way around. Maybe Joel goes with that flex forehand up the middle. Maybe Eagle as well. I think you've been discounting Eagle's forehand. He's going with that so much this season so far. I say this season. It's the first real big event, but... Yeah, well, <laughs> there's been three rounds. Yeah, we've seen a lot from him so far, I feel like. <laughs> I've gotten to know his game. And there is the Simon Heiser. That's so high. The Sizer, as, yeah. we, as we like to call it. Perfect. Oh, Wow. Oh, goodness. That's awesome. I like that. Is that going to stick? Uh, I mean... The sizer? Give, I mean, do your best. Mm. Solid. Yeah. He's going to be a lot closer than he was on day two when yeah. he had to throw it in. We've seen him make a lot tougher putt, for sure. Paul just saw the perfect line. And he's pretty close to perfect as well. Yeah, we're pretty... Well, I didn't... 
Yeah. Ooh, listen to that. <laughs> the sound <laughs> effects in the mud. <laughs> Eagle splashing around down there. Oh, Joel did come up a bit shorter than it. Yeah. Wow. There we go. A nice solid pitch putt there. Just hangs in on the right side cage. Nice putt from Paul. I feel like slow motion makes the basket seem so much scarier than they seem in real time. Like, <laughs> you know, like every slow mo putt, you're like, it almost, oh my, oh, it spit. <laughs> but actually, that's just how they all look. Right. Good birdies there, everyone but Eagle. So maybe we will have a little drama. Who knows? Yeah. The 12th, par three, listed at 496, more like 370. Probably. Yeah, walked uh, off to 370. There was some some sort of measurement error here, uh, but it is a OB cart path on the right. There is an OB green, though it's not really that in play. You're probably either gonna see huge hyzers or medium hyzers. I'm gonna give it about 110 meters for our European viewers. Yeah. Maybe 115. Simon comes up just a bit short. And that's how you get over on this hole. If you can get on the back side of this hill, yeah, that's how you play this hole right there. That's a great shot Pretty there nicely from Joel. Done. This looks good as well. Probably going to take this. Oh, boy. Wow. Not the best thing that could have happened. Mm-mm. I really like this this change here. This is a much better hole than in, in previous years. Yes. Eagle has gone over the top. But it just shows you don't have to have a 500-foot hole. You, you can have a tricky hole inside. Oh, goodness. What nice a great shot. shot. Wow. Just throwing lawn darts with hazards like that. Yeah. It's so impressive. That's the only way to make this hole play 496. Going outside wow. over the top. And there's Paul. Yeah, that's, that is sweet. Yeah, that's a really great slow mes. They're all great slow meses. Yeah. There's there, never been there's a bad no slow mes. No. Yeah. No. Wow. Oh. <laughs> it's good to be able to laugh. Yeah. That's yeah. tough. He's laughing on the outside, but inside he's crying, man. Yeah, for Could, sure. That was a, we were, I mean, we just got robbed of a star frame. This is a tricky hole. I mean, yeah, not that many people are bogeying it, but it's a pretty hard two, for sure. I mean, the field average two point six on it, two point six four to be exact, which is pretty low. Discrediting how difficult I feel like it is, just with it being blind and those mounds that are in front that protect it. For sure. Hole thirteen. Is this? This isn't really a par four. This is a par three. Three hundred eighty-seven feet straight away. The bunker is the main concern here, right in front of the basket. Also, you have the fence line on the right. The drive is a little bit tricky just because there's a lot of little trees. Yeah, I was trying to figure out where they changed this hole from the previous year. I think the tee was off to the right just a bit because we could see the basket in previous years. It was just difficult to access. Mm. Now you cannot see this basket at all from the tee, and you really just have to pick a line and go for it. And Paul has a little bit of experience with throwing good shots on this hole. That's true. I mean, it looks like he's done it again. Yeah, that's a really nice shot. Anything inside 50 is great. Inside the circle is phenomenal. Huge hyzer on this? Is he going for the green with that? Oh, no, he's going past the green with that. Okay, that makes sense. That's crazy. That is so far. Nope, there you go. Proving the Simon theory correct. Yeah, he, if he sees it, he does it. Oh, my goodness. Hey. Could you have imagined two aces in two years in a lead card last round on this hole? I can't even imagine. That's it. This hole is so hard. When when Paul aced this hole last year, there were only eight birdies for the entire tournament on the hole. Yeah, and it's probably not. I mean, these guys are about to cash a couple, but right before without them, I mean, this is not an often birdied hole. No. Surprisingly, twenty eight percent of the field did get it though. That's so good. I don't under, more than a quarter of the field. I don't. I don't buy. It. I don't understand. Yeah. I mean, I think that's the majority that's coming on this card right now. I feel like. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Oh no, man. The Rat is the newest mid-range made by Innova Champion Discs. It has a low profile, which makes it comfortable for both backhands and forehand shots. 
Be sure to look for it soon at your local stores and online retailers. Hole 14, par four, 555 straight away. OB on both sides and long, and then an OB golf green. I think I saw on the uh, U-Disc that a, a man named Ricky got a two here. Wow. It, it's, it, I think the only way to really go for it is to go for the roller, and Ricky has been working a bunch on his roller. Um, so, doesn't surprise me, but I am impressed. Yeah. And wow, Holy go, cow. go. Okay, maybe the air shot. I don't know. I don't even know anything anymore. That's a crutch. That is a bomb to go across the green. And just like that, Eagle has five strokes. And yet he's not changing his game plan to play a little pitch shot. He's still attacking. Yeah. I mean, this guy is hungry for that first national Absolutely. tour victory. Not time to take your foot off the gas yet. No. And that's sometimes when we get into trouble, you know? For sure. He has a very specific strategy that he goes with, and um, he sticks to it. Mm -hmm. We're going to see three players over the green. You're making assumptions, but I, I think that you're probably right. That's amazing. Well, okay. That is so far. <laughs> I'm going to say it right now. I don't like – yeah. I threw a really great roller, and I landed where Simon's air shot just landed, and I felt great about it. But he just made that look so much easier. Yeah. I mean, just a simple little reach back, twist, and there he is. Oh, a little low for Paul. So close. Mm. I was a little too scared to throw the roller here. Just feels like too much OB. Oh, there's way too much OB. It's a terrible idea. But when you're, you know, battling it out for anywhere between 57th and 45th place. It's, yeah, you might as well. There's less on the line. You can yeah. kind of go for fun shots. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't exciting. So all threes for our league group. Almost some excitement there with the eagle. For sure. Hole 15, par 3, 459 on the right side. Pretty tough, long par 3. I like this hole. It's a little downhill. Not a lot of OB to worry about, really. Yeah, I, I, I can't imagine that there's a hyzer line here, so we're going to have to see. No, there, that's blocked out with those tree. Thank God, and otherwise we'd probably see it. Yeah, we would. <laughs> oh, Polly. But, uh, yeah, this is um, one of the few times in the course where you actually are, like, truly forced on a very specific angle. Yeah. And uh, that's a good thing to, to have on a golf course where it's generally so wide open. I'm actually kind of surprised Eagle doesn't just pump a forehand here. Yeah, you know, I, I've heard a couple guys were getting there with their four, and Anthony Brella said he had one pin high, and I'm sure Eagle throws further than Anthony Brella for the forehand. I mean, yeah. he's no slouch himself, but... They both crush. I mean, I toot it with a forehand. Did you? With a big putt, but still. Mm. Yeah, I think Eagle... He definitely be, has my forehand beat. If he, if he watches this video, I think he'll probably consider it for 2000. Yeah, for sure. Especially if he's trying to say he's doing what I would do this year. Hey, <laughs> hey Eagle, throw the forehand. So Simon, unable to keep it less than 500 feet, is going to have a long comeback putt. Paul going Nova, trying to ring it up. And that'll be his first par in quite some time. He's been on a tear. Yeah. And Joel, that's a... Wow. Oh, my gosh. You there don't was... see people go forehand from that short very often, huh? That is not a layup. No, he's going for he's it. He's absolutely running it. I love seeing that champion's mentality almost drains it. I mean, this guy's tapped into something special this week. Yeah, but it's a cool play, too, because I mm -hmm. just don't feel like very many people are going forehand right. putter from 80 feet. I mean, even if he misses that shot, he's got the hillside to stop his disc, and oh, man, it would have been cool to see it, too, on this one. It's such a difficult hole. Yeah. Only 16% of the field birdied this one. Came in at 2.87. Mm-hmm. Again, not one of those holes where you expect to really ever get a bogey, but, I mean, there, there is a car path. There is an under-the-leg putt. Yeah. That's, that you know, that, I kind of like it. Oh, for sure, a showmanship. I love it. It's, 
we've seen a couple interesting tap outs in the last couple days. I gotta step my game up. Wow, I didn't know that was a thing for this year. Yeah, hole 16, par four, 765. You got OB water, OB cart path, OB green, and a little bit of a tricky area for the basket where you're kind of going up the hill right at the end. Yeah, this is a great par four. I think so too, this is one of the better ones. Paul goes big, Heiser, maybe a little too big. Too high is what I mean to say, because he didn't really get the distance mm -hmm. like he wanted to. You'd like to get 450 yeah, off that's, the tee here. that's ideal. Or maybe just do like 550. <laughs> yeah, maybe 550. Oh, no, he caught the tree. Okay, so that's going to leave him. Oh, a terrible lie. Oh, goodness. going to have to play for par, I'm going to say. Yeah, uh, he's in a pretty good position to be I playing for par. I think he's okay with that at this point. He's got three holes left. He's got five strokes. Yep, I, I like pars. I, think I like his odds if he can make pars. <laughs> yeah. Joel, big shot there. That is really nice distance. And this is that fun time in the round where, in the tournament, where you know that it's in your hands. You mm -hmm. can do whatever you want, really, as long as you're not too crazy. But he's done everything he needs to do to give himself that safe five stroke lead and you really get to enjoy the moment for these last three holes yeah that's a smart play there stay away from the golf green should be a routine little putter shot to right into the pin from there paul going t-bird probably t-bird three are you kidding me oh no rolls back on the green and that is a huge mistake yeah and it's it's so interesting to think about this, but it is. It's the first national tour of the year, but this is just as important as the last national tour of the yeah, year. Yeah, for the points and everything. So there's so many, you know, you cannot just give up on the tournament. You no. have to keep battling. And, um, I mean, obviously we're going to see that with all our players. And so when Macbeth throws OB on that hole, yeah, the win is gone, but there's a lot of other things that are mm -hmm. they're on the line. Definitely. Just a little low on that bid. Joel for the birdie. Oh, wow. All right. So Eagle has a pretty tough putt here for par, actually. Can claw one back. Look. Maybe more. Joel just keeps doing it, man. Yeah, he does. Hmm. And bogey for Paul. I think the tournament may rest on this next putt for eagle yeah i, I you certainly the ease oh, of what? these last two holes oh so he laid up wow we missed that did okay. he really he couldn't have laid up he might have just missed well wow okay well two stroke swing like the that. game is it's, back on folks yeah we got three strokes separating the two players at the top with two holes to go and I mean, there's OB on 17. There's tons of OB on 18. Yeah. yeah, 17's got OB all the way down the left. Rough on the right. Coming at 507 feet. If Joel can put a good move on this thing. Oh, it's turning too much. Oh. And oh my gosh, that is a nightmare lie. Oh goodness. I was going to say, a, a birdie puts the pressure on. Yeah, I think he's going to need to be worried about not bogeying now. That that yeah. He is right in the middle of that, and it's very thick. Wow. There's got to be a time. There's got to be a way for me to start doing that stuff. Mm -mm. Dang it. I mean, it's just such a casual. Like, I mean, Paul, one of our elite distance throwers ever. Yeah. Throws a really nice line. Mm -hmm. And comes up 40 feet short. Yeah. Simon's 30 long. It, it's something else, man. There's some something else going on there. Yeah. Yikes. Yep. Looks like he actually, mm -hmm. oof, yep. man. Yep. And oh. he can do another one. Okay, well. Yep. The game's back off, guys. Yep. Because that, that's a bogey that seals at the best. Deal. Eagle content to lay this up, I would think. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. Going to have four to play with going into the final hole. Let's see if we can get a birdie for the, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, you know, there's Paul just doing what Paul does. Yeah, he took a bogey on hole 16, but the rest of his back nine has just been pretty much flawless. And um, 
Just two routine little birdies there on 17. Yeah. The hardest par three on the course. <laughs> yeah. only par three on the course that averaged over par, so kind of puts it into perspective. That was pretty special there. For yeah, me. definitely. Our last hole, hole 18, par four, 700 feet uphill, water on both sides, cart path, golf green, it's got it all. Yeah, I don't want to say it's quite as difficult as the Beast hole 18, but it kind of has a similar feel just in the snaky fairway. Yeah. And it's just iconic. It This really has made its way to being a staple for the Las Vegas tournament. Being yeah. The last hole of the tournament. It's a nice hole. Yeah, it's a beautiful place to play. And that's a nice shot. <laughs> oh, God. That has to be the closest drive to the basket of the weekend. I mean, that's just way up there. Yeah, huge. Kind of surprised to see Paul go short. Yeah, I mean, that that might be kind of what we're talking about, though. Playing for national tour points and not losing sight of, you know, I, he very easily could throw a hyzer on that second landing zone. Yeah. But I don't I don't know what's going through his head right there. Yeah. Not surprised at all to see Eagle make the smart play. Oh, and then again, a little surprised to see Joel go short. Well, but he, I guess he feels only, like he can get up and down, right. which I'm sure he can from there. I mean, I'm sure that he's looking at what second card was doing this and didn't want to make a mistake. Big forehand from back here. Yeah, very large. We're looking at maybe 430 slightly uphill. And that came up maybe 60 feet short, maybe 50. Uh, this, this is just going to be a little, whoa. I was going to say a little chip, but maybe he's going to throw it over by the golf green. It's all good. That's fine. <sighs> that is so far. Yeah, that was huge. Paul needs this to check yeah, up. Super skip. <laughs> <laughs> and there's water back there. Wow. And he lands about a meter away from it, but he is safe. And Simon will... Woo. Simon. Ooh. This let that get away from him a little bit. I'm sure he was thinking, I got to make this for the fans here. And Joel, for the fans. Wow. Oh. Sit, 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 sit. What a tournament for Joel, though. Let's wow. Bef before we get to our champion, let's just take, take a moment to acknowledge how well Joel played. I mean... I just, I'm just so impressed by his play all week. Wow. And Simon, Simon and Paul just kind of put the, the yeah. they wrap up what has been an off day for them just perfectly there by both missing the, those putts. Kind of shows you how it's been going. And they're gonna, Macbeth is gonna give Joel a chance here to get recognized. Yep. And I mean, I'd say just as equally as impressive as Eagles' first national tour win is. This incredible breakout performance in Joel Freeman. Yeah, definitely hats off to Joel. Simon. And the man of the Here weekend. we are, the thin young bird. Finally gets his first signature win. And I was thinking, how crazy is it that you can you can legitimately say, man, it's been a long time coming and this dude's 19 years old. Right. He's that talented that you can look at him and say, you know, wow, how has he not won one yet? Yeah. It's crazy. His good buddy Eric, hoisting him into the air, tightest pants on the course. Eric told me two years ago this kid's gonna win a world championship in four years, and I was like, "You're crazy, man! Like we're in the Macbeth Waisaki era. That's not happening." But I can happen. say this now because I actually won. But like, YouTube comments are so freaking mean. I can't believe it. Like, if I look from last week at Winter Time Open, I was in like pretty much the same position, and I played terrible. And everyone's like, choker, choker, Mick, choke, choke. And so I was just like, I just got to go out there and throw and let fate run its course. And then this happened. So I, I stuck to my game plan. Mostly I do, a, I write down my game plan before I know what shot I'm throwing every hole. And this just is the outcome and you can't ask for anything more. Tomorrow morning I'm going on my recovery run. I'm going to do my stretches tonight because we got Memorial like right after this. And you're not a true champion until you can win twice. We love YouTube YouTube's and all our YouTube cool. followers. Yeah, thank you guys. Everybody who tunes in on YouTube, keep commenting. You guys are the sweetest. Congratulations to Eagle. Congratulations to Joel. 
Thank you guys for tuning in and we will see you in Phoenix quite soon. Looking forward to bringing you guys the Memorial Championship, one of my favorite events. We'll see you soon. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our 2018 Las Vegas Challenge coverage. We got a giveaway for you. Leave a comment on this video for a chance to win this S-Line P2. This is unreleased Discmania Big Sexy Stamps. Won't see them for a couple weeks. You could be the first one to have one. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Check out next week's memorial coverage from Phoenix, Arizona. Thanks, as always, for tuning in. We'll see you next time.